if your P2P function is not working or you're not seeing video on your IP camera and you're getting a resource limited error, it has to do with how you're connecting to the camera. All of our cameras by default come with ports 3, quadruple 7 for TCP communication and HTTP port 80. Once you change these, it starts causing unpredictable issues. The other thing to make sure is if you enabled Easy for IP and you don't see the online, then most likely you have incorrect network configuration parameters here. So I have set this IP address and the gateway and the DNS, which are Google DNS servers, to conform to our network scheme. If you open up a command prompt in Windows and go to IP config, it will tell you what is your current network environment on the network ports connected to your computer. Mine is here. My local IP is 1.70 for my computer. Subnet is this, and this is the gateway. It's exactly how I've used to create use a different IP address on the network of 106. That's the last octet. The same subnet and the same gateway. Now the DNS servers I've specified as these Google DNS servers, they come like that by default in the camera. If using these settings you still see resources limited, then what you should do is hit DHCP, press save, and let the camera reboot by going to system, auto maintain, manual reboot, yes. So when the camera reboots, it's most likely going to get a different IP address. Use the config tool that we have. You can download it through our Google Drive. It may ask you to run permissions, allow it. And then when the camera turns back on, using the config tool, you can find it on your network. Granted, there is no firewall on your computer itself blocking this program from running. Make sure your settings are set like this. And admin is the default password, change it here. Press OK. Now if you want to set this to a different IP, you could, but here now using DHCP, the camera acquires a dynamic IP from your router. Granted, it has a DHCP server running on your router to be able to fetch it. Most regular routers do. Once you get that, you can open back up your web browser that you're using to view, put in the IP address, and log back into the camera.